All right. <laughs> I'm making a sit up. Um, first of all, I just like to, to say, well, thanks. Uh, much appreciated from um, American Friends of Jamaica. I mean, it's a wonderful honor. Um, I feel like a weird. I was over by the bar a lot, trying to consume as much alcohol as possible. <laughs> I kind of contain myself a little bit because you get to me emotional on this. This has been something that has been very dear to me for the longest. I've, you know, just kind of, like I said, it's sheer emotion. It, it was nothing that was planned. It was, it kind of feels funny. I get an award for something that I think should be with just your civic duty as a Jamaican. Really. Um, because. I'm sure any of you, uh, if you were in my position where, and I'm sure you probably have at some point, I, but if you saw what I saw the first time I went to Bustamante Hospital and you were in a position to do something, you would have done exactly the same thing that I did. Yeah. Um, the nurses and the doctors there are miracle workers. And that's because they do so much with so little. Um, I remember just a quick little thing where they didn't have a thing called a blood warmer. And they were explaining to me how they warm the blood before the surgery, which was basically they'd take the blood and put it in a pot of water and turn up the fire to the right temperature. These are the things that people do to make sure lives are saved. Um, thankfully, true Shaggy and friends, they have a blood warmer now. <laughs> Among other things. Um, if you take the opportunity, you hear about Shaggy Make a Difference Foundation and the concert is Shaggy and Friends. There are a couple of people that really, really uh, are instrumental in it. Like I said, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't plan it in. And I remember the first time uh, you know, I went to visit a friend at the hospital in 1996 and had a conversation with all these nurses and doctors. And I remember saying, that if I was ever in a position where I can make a difference, I would. And that, that opportunity came during Hot Shot when we sold an enormous amount of record and we were on top of the world and I had the means and the, and the podium to actually do something. What I did at that time was good. I went to the hospital and basically just cut a check and I did that for nine years straight. But basically, just helping them with whatever it is they need from equipment to painting the, the walls. Uh, we started a park with a couple members of the band, uh, which, you know, later on, um, but it was a the garden that was turned into a park by thanks to Scotiabank who took it over. I remember when we, used to, we started wrapping presents in our living room at my house in, um, in Jamaica. By just buying three, two to three hundred presents and going there on our own, it was wrapped by my band members and members of my family. And uh, we bought the presents from Andrew Warwar, which he is near right now. I missed his flight. After he found out, after a while, he just started to give us the presents for free. <laughs> and so he came on board. Um, people like Naya, who from the minute that I started, uh, he was the one that kept the light burning, the fire burning. Big up Naya. Um, you know, when, we, when we started to do the concert, I decided uh, we'll turn this park over uh, from Scotiabank. A gentleman touched me on my shoulder and asked me if I would come and look for his daughter who was in intensive care. And I went, after I took the pictures and all, I'm a drama, drama. <laughs> I went to the ICU and I met his daughter, which was an eight-year-old girl with a bullet lodged in her head. I was not prepared for what I saw. I literally held her hand and she was squeezing my hand. I did that, you know, I asked him if she did that normally and he said no. And I just kind of left there at that point saying to myself, Something has to be done. 
and I just run and sheer adrenaline and emotions and said I went into a concert and Shaggy and Friends were, was born and I didn't know the first thing to do about somebody whispered to me and said you need to form a foundation I was like so how you do that <laughs> um, but luckily we had people like William of food and I got people the best of the people that I knew could pull this off. What was supposed to be a concert, uh, which I never know anything about doing concerts anyway. It took us, you know, I just know it take about a year and change to plan a concert. And I looked at these people and said, well, we need to do it in eight weeks. And they're a little bit skeptical at that point, but they said, hey, I just said, let's go this matter call. Failure is not an option. <laughs> and um, I just know we had the best set of people. And that's when Sharon Burr came in. Sharon, turn up now. Lord, how you make it look so? <laughs> Who, along with my better half, Rebecca, form a dynamic duo. You can stand up to it. There you go. And we, we, we had what is known as a, a team effort to really put this together. And there was a couple of sponsors who were a little bit skeptical here and there, but, you know, we were very happy that they actually trusted us and ran, ran with us and we ended up raising, you know, a lot of money for the hospital. And we bought from um, ventilators to incubators to everything to, you know, we have a whole bunch of equipment now to come on. Uh, we aid with Chain of Hope. Last year I sat through one of the surgeries where they do cardiac surgeries and little babies. Um, sometimes 30, 35 of them at a time. And if you feel say you're big and bad, wait till you go in one of those operating theaters and see what they do to these little ones when they open them up. Funniest thing, there was a fundraising event in London recently that I was invited. Uh, much like this. A little bit more elaborate, those people about one leap of money. But anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> they said to me that they're going to Jamaica and they need a saw to open the child's chest. And uh, the saw, I can't, I can't remember what the saw cost, but anyway, it was like we didn't have it on the auction list. But, but um, if you go up there and do a little bit of have somebody sing Bombastic with you. We'll do it. And I kind of threw myself in the auction, we ended up getting the saw. But it was funny that when I was watching the little child get open recently, and this is probably about two years afterwards, it was the same saw that we purchased. That was the only shot. But like I said, I never, I never really come with a big speech. I just, um, just wanted to say it is, a, it is appreciated. And um, it is a, a team effort. And some of the team are there, some of our sponsors, because Chris, who went up on board this year, big out line. <laughs> big up to my family. Um, my three children are here today, Sydney, Richie, and Tyler. And I have two little brand new ones at home. Twins. As if I don't have my handful already. Anyway. <laughs> and uh, to my mother, who is here also. Right. Gary and Tina, Macalan, just very, very good. Tina is also a sponsor, Gary also, and they're just good supporters of Shaggy. There's a lot of people that should have been here that is not. And um, I just like to say thank you very, very much. And, uh, you know, American Friends of Jamaica, you guys do a wonderful, wonderful job. Blessing up, blessing up 110%. And please enjoy yourself. I am, you know, as much as this award looks really good, I am really, really excited. Oh, nice and heavy too. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to the highlight of the night. I can't wait for the Jolly Boys.